Three people were tied up and held at gunpoint during a home invasion over the weekend. And according to court documents, it was all the work of a homeless man. New Channel 15's Randy Spieth talked to police about this case, and he joins me now at the desk with more. Randy? Mark, this is something police don't see very often. According to a probable cause affidavit, at least two men are behind this crime. It happened early Saturday morning. So far, one man is behind bars. He's facing several charges, among them carrying a handgun without a license, robbery, and auto theft. According to neighbors, this house in the 2600 block of Pennsylvania Avenue was the site of an armed robbery around 6.30 Saturday morning. Police say Mark Johnson and at least one other man tied up three adults and held them at gunpoint while raiding their home. Based on the timeline, they, they may have been in that home for at least a couple of hours ransacking that home. The men were able to get away with at least $500 in cash along with a laptop computer, a large television, and jewelry. They also stole a 2007 Dodge Charger. Police were able to chase down that vehicle a few blocks down the road. That's when they arrested Mark Johnson. According to court records, Johnson is a homeless man from Fort Wayne. Officer Raquel Foster says this kind of crime is rare for a homeless person. They really do not have access to those types of weapons. We're talking about an individual who was armed. But they do happen. We do see some strong arm robberies, maybe the use of force, some purse snatching, things like that. But we don't see this type of crime where they're going into homes in the middle of the night armed with handguns. That's, not, that's actually pretty uncommon. You're and one quick cor cor correction, this home invasion took place on Pennsylvania Street, not Avenue. We asked Raquel Foster if the homeless are ever influenced to help someone with the crime. She said it doesn't happen often, but they have seen times where criminals have persuaded a homeless or mentally ill person to participate in crimes. Mark, this case does remain under investigation, and anyone with any information is asked to call the Fort Wayne Police Department. Randall, thanks. We appreciate it. Hey, a